The captain left us and gave us one mission. One mission, you think? That should be easy. That should be something we could do in a few hours while he's gone and I don't know what he's doing. But he left us with a mission to put the sail cover on the sails so that we can leave the sail here for a month while we go to the States and go partying to techno electronic music all over LA. <coughs> So, but this is the sail cover. It's the sail cover from our old sails, and this is the new sails. So it's, it's not possible. Okay, that's good to work. Let's try. <laughs> that's what's happening if you leave girl and girls. You both, come on. Beer and techno music. <laughs> so we're 20 minutes in working on putting the set covers on and that's what it looks like. <laughs> so that's a sale, that's a cover and that's us working. The reason that we really had to pack up the sails this time is because we had to leave Panama for a month. We jumped on a plane and flew to LA to go to James's brother's wedding. We took a bus from David to Panama City and then took a plane from Panama City to San Francisco and then we took a car from San Francisco to LA. We're spending a lot of time in a car. Hey, welcome to LA. That's how it works here. And now we're here. Now we're here. And we're gonna do some cool stuff here. We're going to, we're sailing to Catalina Island. I organized a couple boats to go out to Catalina for the weekend. My buddy Miguel and my other buddy Josh. And we had a blast. We dove, dove the kelp forest. We got to meet my buddy that lives there, Old Man Josh. Old Man Josh has a 1950s Jeep. This Jeep is the reason I have sharks on my boat. And this man is the reason I have sharks on my boat. Was it a good weekend? Man, I had such a good time. It's, it's been three years since I've seen this cat. and we Showed came. up out of nowhere at midnight. 12.15 <laughs> in the morning. We had nothing but a blast. Yeah. Couldn't ask for anything better. Day number two. On Morningstar, Josh's boat. So the guys are getting ready to leave. Back to LA, Marina Del Rey. We had a fun night yesterday, fun day. Went diving in a cold forest. That's pretty dope. Okay, it's right back. Yeah, well. It's uh, down. Huh? Oh, shit, forgot to open the plug. Just getting ready, pouring okay. stuff. It's and, really but the water right quality now. here is insane. It's super cold though. We're coming from Avalon in Catalina Island and we're going to Marina del Rey. And it's been a, a while. I think we averaged like four knots or something, which is... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but. It was fun. We got to see the kelp forest and dive it and oh man, yeah. Magic weekend. It's in my bag. Zoom lens? Or should? Well, it's too late now. Zoom and lamens! What you heading, boy? Ah, oh, zoom and lamens! Are you trying to speak German, my friend? <laughs> Nein! Nein! Great. Nine, 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 nine! It's nice to sail someone else's boat, isn't it? Yeah, it was a lot of fun because, you know, whenever there's a leak or something doesn't work, you know, you're not gonna be the one fixing it. It's cool. I like it. That was my first time actually sailing on a monohull. After really sa sailing half the world on a cat, it was the first time actually sailing on a monohull. It's fun. I like it. It's a little funky that you lean over that, that much. I wouldn't have believed. You know, that little wind, that small boat that it would lean like that. I like it. I could have a monohull. Living on the lean. Whatever, dude. So, after a lot of good pho, tacos, and every other kind of food you can imagine, and a lot of traffic, we are ready to leave LA. 
James Bond is gonna pick us up in a, in a how do you call it? In a Winnebago. RV? What? A Winnebago. Well, RV. Yeah. In a mobile home, and we're gonna uh, head up to San Francisco, Brentwood again. But we're gonna go camping or road tripping or whatever, a mixture of the boat. And what? And what highway are we going? We're gonna go to the PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway. Oh shoot, he's here, let's go. He's here. We finally found James' mom, Deborah, and we're on our way now to... We're gonna to go to Ventura tonight, then we're gonna camp there, and then we're gonna to go to maybe Santa Barbara, and then we're gonna go home. Let's go straight. Yeah, um, no, that's the plan for today. Around, so. So we're in Malibu. Not a lot of people know that there are sand dunes in Malibu and you can climb said sand dunes <laughs> if you're daring enough. <laughs> but here's the water. There's the dunes. Next time we talk to you guys, we'll be at the top of the sand dunes. We're only halfway. <laughs> Go. Yes! We did it! Woohoo! Two hours later. Ugh. That was way harder than it looked. Yeah. Okay, now I'm cold. But look at the view. <laughs> so, where are we? Santa Barbara. We decided to stop in Santa Barbara at the marina and look to see what to expect just in case we come up here. There's a bunch of oil platforms off the coast. Yeah. We had to watch for those. Good thing we did. <laughs> Cats for friends, and we don't have a wetsuit. The water's pretty cold out here. So. Look, the smallest fit in like that. Get in the water. The water up here is cold. Yeah. What do you think of Santa Barbara? Looks super pretty so far. I would really like to see the city. Let's see what we can do. But Marina first. First things first. Okay. Let's not get confused and make too many plans. Here. Where are we? In the Santa Barbara Yacht Club. It's big. Almost as big as Marina del Rey. Well, not really. It's still pretty big. So, after a long day, of shopping in Santa Barbara. We finally get to see some sights. We just walked through the funky part of the oh, town. Oh, look at this car, look at this car. A lot of cool cars like that. A lot of old Mustangs and whatever. I only know the You don't Mustangs. see that in Panama. No, you don't see that in Panama. So, um, we've been through the funky part of the city where there's a lot of wineries and many breweries. No, not many, how do you call them? Bre breweries, yeah. Breweries. No, like micro. Micro breweries. Micro breweries. Yeah. And now, we're gonna get back to the RV, I think, right? We're gonna go to a um, Mexican uh, supermarket, buy some food, and then we're gonna go back to the RV and cook my mom dinner. Because I love my mommy. So one of the other things we needed to do in the States was to build a sail pack. Lucy and I actually never managed to put the sail cover on the new sails because the new sails are way too big in whatever regard on Zingara. And uh, so we, we just wrapped a bunch of sheets around there and stuff. It looked a little hippie-ish, but you know, it was, it was protected from the sun for, for a month and that's, that's what counts, right? Yep. 
we're on our last trip, the trip to Brentford, California, so that Deborah and James can change the sail pack for the water. And we're gonna be home in a week. Mission about. YouTube channel is some kind of gorilla taping, gorilla videotaping, and I want to put this camera on the top of the chandelier and have like a like a top-down view. Oh, cool! Which would be cool, but I'm looking at the thing and look at this. It's about to break, ma. Oh. So if the, if the chandelier alone is about to break. Yeah, you want to see that? I want to see you in the tuxedo. So we had to call in some professional help. This is Mr. Ed Stack. Ah. Ed, say hi. Hi. You, you want to look here. Don't oh, look here. I want to look over there. You want to look on here. I'm looking at myself. Yeah, I know. Everybody does. <laughs> so we just flip this around and that way. Oh, yeah, that way. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, so Ed, Ed owned a, uh, a canvas a shop, custom canvas shop for how many years? Oh, I don't know, 25 years. Yeah, so <laughs> this is a good guy to know. And uh, this is his wife, Lena. Hi, Lena. And the first mate editing some video. Yeah, that's right. So, All Mr. Right. Ed, tell us your, your background, man. How did you get uh, involved in the canvas work? Well, we started out in the poultry business and uh, that became uh, very time consuming and difficult to please the people because we were, we were upholstering uh, race cars and, and uh, the like. So uh, we found out that when we were working with canvas that the people weren't near as uh, fidgety and so on and so forth. So uh, the canvas business was uh, much simpler and easier. So that's what we ended up in. So what we're making now is this is this will be the top pocket where the batten goes in, where it holds up the whole thing, and then we're gonna put a, a zipper on here. So this will be one half of the zipper, yeah. And this will be one half of the zipper that goes all the way along the top. So Ed gave me the canvas for this. All this was extra um, canvas that he had at this place, and I'm super happy with these. This is gonna be my new home seat. So the moment is here. We all we finished the sail cover. Yeah, give me five, Mama. You rock. You rock. This is the best sewer in the world, right here. Aww. Seamstress, I mean. This is the best seamstress. <laughs> I'm not even filming us. I'm this your is, only seamstress. This is the best seam <laughs> seamstress in my family that, that I know. <laughs> that you know of. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. So check this thing out. There it is. It's the final product. Boom. We did a couple things different. There's grommets in, in the uh, in the, the area that holds it up. That way, it's, it's not just burnt. Thanks to Ed. These are going to fold inside instead of out. Uh, they're going to kind of go in like this. So that's not going to be seen. And the mast boot is fairly large. I'm not sure. We weren't sure how big to make it because the boat's not here. So hopefully I don't have to do too much work on that one. It's probably going to be all baggy and weird looking for a little while until we can cut it down. But overall, it wasn't that bad. How, much, how many hours do you think it took us? Oh, 20 too many. 20 too many. It's probably about 20 hours each, right? Probably because it was like four days and then probably four or five hours a day. Of course, we did a lot of tearing out that a professional wouldn't have had to do. <laughs> yeah, right. But I'm, I'm happy. This is going to be a huge improvement on Zingaro. Guess who I'm back with? Mr. Cleveland's up on me. We're sleeping on this boat tonight. I'm, yeah. sleeping, I'm sleeping in my bed on another boat. This design pretty much the same, right? We'll see. Oh. How's it doing? Good. Um, there it is. Got it. Hey, it's just a few things left to do, like the rigging and the motors and keep all the water out of it. 
<laughs> you sound just like me, dude. There's a couple things. I mean, it's almost ready. It's just, it's just like sinking by the day. That's so funny. You know what? I understand. <laughs> Not a lot of us do. I get so much shit on YouTube. It's only like a couple years. Yeah. Nah, you're good, bro. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. In next week's video, we're going to compare mine and Cleveland's boat, which are sister ships, but they cost far different amounts of money. And what you get for a $5,000 boat versus what you get for a $65,000 boat. It'll be a cool one. So we had, we had a ton of fun in the States. We met a bunch of awesome people. We had some Patreon meetups. Uh, we finally got to meet those people that make all this possible. And we're definitely going to be back in the States. We're, we're actually really considering sailing there. So if you want to be notified about Patreon meetups and, you know, beach cleanups that we organize, then just become a patron here. <laughs> and if you don't want this, you know, if, if you're not searching for a relationship, just kick us some, some bucks over PayPal from time to time. That's the more like the one night stand version of the whole thing. <laughs> I like it. I like yeah, it. we should make actually, yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Thanks guys. Thank you patrons. Thank you patrons. You guys make this possible. We love you. <laughs>